According to a new study, apparently there are some students who are experiencing post-traumatic stress-like symptoms because of the 2016 presidential election. Yes, you heard that right. There's a new study coming out of the states that apparently are showing some of these college students are experiencing post-traumatic stress-like symptoms. Now we're going to get into a bit of background on this. There were 700 and 769 students that took part in this study. Out of that, out of that number, apparently 25 percent of the 25% showed the, the signs and symptoms of possible post-traumatic stress. These are all students that are enrolled in, the, in college courses in psychology at Arizona State University. The lead author who has presented some of these results is Melissa Hagen. She's an assistant professor of psychology at San Francisco University. Apparently the study group that uh, the study group of students, or the surveyed students, we'll call them, it's a, it was an incredibly diverse group. Take people of various ethnic origins, of various races, political beliefs, religions, genders, what have you. So the effort mentioned 25%. Apparently, the results show that that 25% crossed the threshold slow of showing clinically significant levels of stress. Now. These levels of stress score similar to people who have witnessed mass shootings even seven months after the event. A lot of the articles that I found, he broke this down even further, saying that black students or non-Hispanic white students scored higher on the stress meter than their white classmates. Females scored 40% higher than males. And Democrats apparently scored two and a half times higher than Republicans. The results of this survey were published on October 22nd in the Journal of American College Health. It should also be stated that each student only took the survey once. So, what does this all mean? Right now, I can already see both sides of the political spectrum, the political right and the political left, collectively losing their mind over this. And let's be fair, I could also see people in the center, like me, who are also going to collectively lose their mind. We'll start with the right. I am sure right now there are conservative right or just plain right-leaning people, whether you want to say extreme, or right of center, or far right, alt right. Pick whatever buzzword you want to use to describe people on the right of the political spectrum. I'm sure there are people who are on that side of the political spectrum that are going to look at these results and see, wow, 25% of these students are snowflakes. They're weak. They're not, how are the Democrats fit to lead. They have no character. How can you get post-traumatic stress from an election? Now, moving to the left, I am sure on that spectrum you're going to see the opposite. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to, like I said with the right, whether it's left of center, to the moderate left, to the far left, authoritarian left. Again, pick any buzzword you want to use to describe somebody on that side of the political spectrum. There's going to be people on that side that are now going to say, see, Trump is a monster. He's hurting people just by existing. And then you're going to have centrists in the middle, not knowing how to interpret this, going one way, probably a mix of both, which is where personally I feel, I fall. I don't understand how an election can be comparable to any kind of traumatic event. That doesn't make sense for me. That doesn't make sense to me at all. I just don't understand. Especially when, like in the survey said, 
that there are similarities between people seven months after witnessing a mass shooting. How is an election, regardless of who is elected, even comparable? And this is where I would fall with the reaction to the right. Like, it makes me wonder how, how weak are these 25%? And does this mean, is this the future for the left? Because if it is, the left is doomed. They're not going to be viewed as anything as strong enough to lead anything. Now, to be fair, I understand how hated Trump is on the left. Trump said some, and I'm not talking about his, his gaffes or his faux pas or his lack of etiquette during the election. Trump said some horrendous things during the 2016 election that turned me off of him. Mainly when he said, go after the families of ISIS. That turned me off of him. So I can understand why one side does not like him. But I cannot understand how that hate or dislike or whatever word you want to use is strong enough to say that him being in the position of president is enough to be traumatizing. Maybe it's another case of the right and the left not agreeing on definitions of words. When I hear trauma, I think of somebody who had a horrendous experience, like a war experience, or somebody who had, was in a bad car accident, or somebody like an example in the story, somebody who witnessed a mass shooting. I don't see the results of an election as traumatic. I'm flabbergasted. This sounds absurd. I, look, I had to look this up on several websites because I was expecting to eventually find it on something like The Onion or any other satire site. But I couldn't find it on any site that I saw as being satire. Now you may ask, why am I feeling the way I am about it? Well, personally, I think it is a very arrogant response to give, to act like an election is traumatizing. Now I could give an example of a soldier coming back from war, a soldier from just say one of the world wars, whether it be the first or second world war, somebody coming back from Vietnam, the Korean War, seeing what those soldiers had to have seen on the battlefield would be traumatizing. I have I am not in the military. I have not served. I'm not a, I haven't served in any police force. I'm not a doctor. I haven't seen anything like that. I have, unfortunately, seen somebody die right in front of me. I was in the room helping my dad out of bed into a chair when his brain bled and effectively he had a hemorrhage and died. That traumatized me for years. So forgive me if I get a little triggered or angry that somebody is conflating the word trauma with the results of an election. If this is really what the left is coming to, then the left is doomed. Because they're not going to be seen as strong enough to lead a household, they're not, let alone a government, whether it be a state, a municipality, or a country. In Canada, whether it be a province or territory, a town or a city, or the country itself. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please like the video. If you heard anything you agreed with, disagreed with, or just want to continue the conversation, please consider leaving a comment. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Please have yourself a good day.